you came back for me. That was the shocked reaction of Vin, the heroine of the Brandon Sanderson novel Mistborn, when a friend came to save her. An underlying theme of the book is Vin's constant expectation that everyone would eventually betray her trust and abandon her to her fate. As the story unfolded, she learned that there were some who were worthy of trust because on two different occasions, people she expected to fail her came back to rescue her in the face of grave danger. Well, thank you for coming back after an unusually long holiday break, at least for me. I had to step away much earlier and stay away much longer than expected due to co-teaching and auditorium class from October through December, starting a new job in October, and moving into a new house in November. Each alone would have been challenging, but together they were too much for me to continue these daily videos. As a result, this is the first new Morning Minutes in the Bible video since November 17, 2020. For me, the break was both energizing and exhausting, but I am back, renewed and ready to restart our daily look at the things of God. I hope you're renewed and ready for these daily videos as well. Lord willing, we'll continue working our way through the Bible, three minutes at a time until we finish Revelation. Since we're just now in 1 Samuel, you will need to keep coming back for the next, oh, 20 years or so. I hope we'll all be around to wrap it up somewhere around 2040. But tomorrow, we will return to our study of the transition from Saul to David in 1 Samuel 16 with a traditional Tuesday look at a very untraditional event. But for today, let's make a brief connection to the Mistborn story and Venn's greatest need, rescue. It's worth repeating that all good fiction is based to some extent in reality, and Mistborn is no exception. Like the book, the history of this world is one long story of rescue, particularly God's rescue of fallen, sinful man. From before creation, God had planned to rescue mankind from the consequences of sin through the sacrifice of his son. Ephesians 3.11 puts it this way. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose which he carried out in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Despite our sin, for which we deserve eternal destruction, God gave Jesus to die for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life, John 3, 16. We need to be on our knees, gratefully whispering in amazed joy. You came back for me. Yes, he did indeed. Thank you, God, for coming back to rescue us. And thank you for coming back to Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClinney hoping you have a great day.